given the success of the transfers he brought in at defensive end and the fact that his dad is a legend here, how is Marvin Jr. prepared to handle that? Well, you know, Marvin has come in and worked, you know, and, and that's that's one thing that, that I really appreciated about him. He's got, he, from the first day of the winter program to, to the end, you can see the growth and improvement, not only physically, but just his confidence in, in terms of, you know, knowing what the expectation was and, and how our program operated. And, uh, you know, I thought he got better every week that we had our, our uh, off season. And, uh, you know, I think he's excited for the opportunities ahead. This is the first time he's ever had a spring ball. Um, you know, one, you know, his, his freshman year, obviously he showed up in, in June, so he didn't get the spring there. And last, last spring he had an injury. Um, so I think just for his development, this is a critical spring, and I think he's looking forward to it. About the other newcomers, what excites you there? Well, you know, I think um, both uh, Sione and Tamawa uh, are, are guys that, that, you know, I really was excited about in terms of the recruiting process, and they've really come in and done a great job. Uh, great job acclimating within the, the room, but also a great job of, of working and, and trying to – uh, live up to what the what our standard is here as a program. Uh, so I, I think both those guys have a tremendous uh, opportunity in front of them to be really impactful for us. So I'm, I'm excited about it. And where does Byron fit? Well, you know, I, Byron's had a had a really really good off season, and in every way, you know, he's had a really good off season in the weight room. Uh, he's gained weight and been able to hold it. Um, and he's doing a great job in the classroom. And I think all those things tie together uh, in terms of, of his growth as a, as a person and as a player. Um, and, you know, I thought, you know, he was a guy that, that was able to kind of get, you know, his opportunity to, to play a role last year. And, uh, you know, I, I think he's poised to, to see that role increase. And the great thing about the defensive end group right now is it's going to be a, a competitive room. And, you know, guys are going to have to take advantage of the reps they get in the spring. And uh, we'll see where it all kind of, how it all plays out. Thank you, JP. Thank you. Jaden Jones, another young guy for you guys last year coming off a knee injury. How has he kind of progressed with giving time? Well, I think, I think Jaden's probably been as impressive as anybody uh, that – in terms of growth in, in this off season, you know he's he uh, he quietly went about his work, but his knee brace came off. He was moving better. Uh, you know, I, I thought he did a tremendous job, uh, and he stayed focused. He stayed focused on him, you know being the best version of himself. So you know this is going to be an important spring for him. And I think he's excited about it. How do the 15 pounds benefit Pat? Well, you know I just think uh, you know for one in the run game, you know you want have the opportunity to be a little bit more physical at the point of attack. Um, you know, that that added weight creates a, a lot more of a physical presence. But then I think also durability. You know, I think, uh, you know, last year was the first time that, that he played a true 14-game you know, season, which, you know, is a, is a physical grind. And, uh, you know, having that weight and, and being able to, to, to maintain that is going to be crucial for him to – to be able to, to have a, another season like, like he had and continue to grow and get better. Is your group maybe even deeper and more versatile than last year? Maybe not as good at the very top as it was a season ago, but one to five maybe better? Well, I think our depth is better. You know, I think there's still a lot to be said about um, you know how everything's going to shake out in terms of, of depth, but in terms of who's playing you know with which units. But um, I think the depth that we have is as good as we've ever had. Um, I'm really excited about the group. Um, I think there's going to be great competition within the room. And I think the collective of all the guys together, we're going to have an opportunity to be a really good defensive end unit. Tommy, what a guy you probably have to most figure out where he fits? A little bit. I mean, I think he has the most versatility in terms of having the ability to play inside and outside. Um, you know, so I think – you know, that's something we're going to work through in, in, throughout the course of the spring. And, you know, the goal always is to find a way up front to get your best four guys on the field. And then, you know, same on, on the as you look at the defensive as a whole, you know, how do you get your best 11 out there? And, you know, whatever you got to do, um, you know, in terms of rotation, structure, packaging. Um, but we're going to work. We got a lot of a lot of work to do to find out who who's going to fit where. But um, I think we have a lot of good pieces in place. I've seen the updated numbers for him, but the end was like two eighty, but he doesn't look like he got away two hundred eighty. Yeah, you know he he slimmed down a little bit uh, through the course of. Uh, uh, 
through the winter program, the tour of duty. But you know, he's he's a big guy and he carries weight well, um, and he's moving well. So um, he will have a little bit of probably versatility within where he plays and lines up based on down and distance situation. Um, but time will tell. You know that there's there's a lot to be learned about. You know all the all the new guys that are coming in, and we'll start finding that out tomorrow. He's a young guy. Yeah. Yeah, he's got he's got three years ahead of him, so um, you know he's he's got a he's got a long career. Hopefully, uh, that we'll have the opportunity to see him grow and develop. When you guys were looking in the portal for solutions at defensive end, were you looking for different body types, different skill sets, versatility, or then just those guys made sense because they're good football players? Well, yeah, I think we were just looking for the best available players, and uh, each one of them, each one of those guys that that we were able to get out of the transfer portal. Uh, kind of had a little bit different circumstances. You know, Marvin went in a little early, um, you know, and, and we were able to jump on that. And we know we and we knew we wanted to add at least one more uh, defensive end before the end of the portal cycle. And having the opportunity to get both Tommy and uh, Sione was was awesome for for us, just because uh, you know that that you know. Our objective was to make sure we got at least one more guy, but to find two that we think are really good players, uh, Siona being a little bit older, and then Tommy, who has a couple more years ahead of him, I thought was really good for us. Sione, just telling us his story, it's pretty remarkable. Can you, can you sense that from him, just what his, his life, his journey has gotten to this point? Well, you know, the thing about him is I think he's he has a different type of appreciation for every opportunity that he has. Um, every single day he shows up and works. And that's got to be, in my opinion, a reflection of the fact that he doesn't take a whole lot for granted, that he's happy to be uh, in, in the situation that he's in, uh, and he's going to make the most of every day. And uh, he shows up with a, a smile on his face, a great attitude, and he's really a great person. Uh, I'm excited that he's part of our room. I think he's going to be an impactful person, not only as a, as a player on the field, but just what he's going to be able to do within the room and with, with the guys. Is, is what you guys are going to ask of Marvin much different from what he was doing? Uh, we're a little bit different schematically, uh, so it's going to be a little bit different. Um, you know, he'll, he'll be a lot more hand in the dirt, defensive end here, just because that's what we do a little bit less uh, in coverage. He's sometimes played a little bit more outside linebacker uh, in, in his previous scheme. But, um, you know, so so it'll be more fitting to what we do from a four down perspective. Um, but a lot of the things are, are going to have carryover and have some similarity. Coach Norvell said, I think about a year ago, that, that depth is what wins championships on the defensive front. How did you obviously saw it play out last year winning the ACC title? And then what about going about re reconfiguring that room with the new too? Sure. You know, I mean, you could see how it showed up. Obviously, a year ago, we, we needed the depth pieces, and we were probably a little bit deeper inside last year, and a lot, little, maybe a little thinner on the on the edges. Um, now I think we have really good depth at defensive end. Um, so I think there's a lot of different guys that can play different different roles, and um, I'm excited to watch them compete and see how it all plays out.